morning, everyone. And on behalf of uh, the team from Chainalysis, I want to thank every one of you for taking the time to come and join us at this event. Right, I'm um, really excited because uh, you know, we have a wonderful program for you. And I think about three things that I'm really excited about today. Right? The first one, I really have to thank the team from Chainalysis for making this thing happen. Now, you would know that actually it's not easy to, to do something like this. Um, and you know, with two years break from having events, some people get rusty, you know, it's, it's like a, you've got to get back to the grind of running these events, right? So I thought it's important to start to appreciate uh, the people behind the scenes who have made this happen. And so if you will allow me, I want to invite the team from Chinalysis to please stand up. And uh, we want to really thank you for all the hard work that you put in, especially the marketing team. So uh, Jade and Molly, Fionn, uh, thank you so much for all the hard work that you guys have put in, right, to make this possible. So thank you for allowing me to really thank the team, right? But the second thing that I'm very excited about is really the program that we have put in place for you. So you're going to have, uh, you know, of course, Chainalysis talking about what we do, but we also have speakers from all over the world uh, invited here to talk about interesting topics. You know, we're going to talk about compliance, about investigations, about finance, about NFT, metaverse, and I want to thank uh, the Straits Times for having a front page on their live. NFT is going to go mainstream in Singapore, the art scene, right? So what a perfect way to start today by having a, the Straits Times mention about NFT. So we're going to have a wonderful program. And the third thing that I want, I'm really excited about is that now we have had Chinalysis links all over APEC region. So the first one well, was in Australia, and then up in Japan, and then in Korea, and then finally in Singapore. But what's unique in Singapore is that this is a regional event, and we have guests from all over Southeast Asia and Central Asia that are here with us today. And so like, as a good uh, Singaporean host, I want to invite every foreign guest that has made their way here. So the speakers, the delegates, and even our executives that have made the way all over across the world. I would like you to invite you to stand and so that we can uh, just welcome you in the Singapore way, right? Thank you for coming and for joining us. Um, I know there are people from Mongolia, from Malaysia, from Indonesia, from Philippines, uh, from Thailand as well, uh, that are here today. So we really appreciate your presence. Uh, it's a good thing you don't have to do any more tests when you come to Singapore. Uh, but I do know some of you, when you go back to your countries, uh, you might you know, have to do those things, right? So without further ado, I want to pass the time next uh, to uh, Ulesse, the Managing Director of APEC. Uh, and uh, you know, he has uh, interesting things to share with us about what's happening in uh, Asia, right? So over to you, Uli. 